Greetings, my name is Dave Belchamber. I am a part-time service technician at Divers Warehouse in Ottawa, Canada, and have certifications as a PADI MSDT instructor and TDI Extended Range Technical Diver. But more importantly, and for the purposes of today, I have over 350 dives in side mount configurations, using wetsuits, dry suits, aluminum cylinders, and steel cylinders, with and without additional small cylinders for deco gases. I've used different side mount BCDs, different arrangements for attaching cylinders onto those BCDs, various arrangements for rooting hoses, etc. But as with all other side mount divers, one common element is the use of snap bolts as the method for securing the lower portion of cylinders onto side mount BCDs. Which brings me to my pet peeve with side mount diving, that is, using snap bolts. They are awkward to use, especially while wearing insulated dry gloves or even worse thick neoprene gloves. In order to clip or unclip a snap bolt from the lower mounting position, it is necessary to reach between the cylinder and diver's torso. The room needed for the diver's hand between the cylinder and torso creates an arc of movement that allows a cylinder to flop around, especially while above water, where loss of balance on a dive vessel or while walking along a rocky shoreline becomes dangerous. In addition, while above water, it is often necessary to squat in an awkward position rather than sit or stand in order for the diver to secure the lower snap bolt without assistance. Yes, we can practice manipulating those snap bolts, and yes, we can wait until we are in the water before mounting the cylinders, or dismounting the cylinders before exiting the water, but that is not always convenient, nor is it always possible. Aluminum cylinders may start nicely tucked alongside the torso when full, but will float away from the diver's body as the breathing gas is consumed. Again, there are ways to overcome this, by moving the snap bolt from one point of attachment to another, or by using sliding D-rings, either method resulting in relocating the cylinder back into a streamlined position. Even steel cylinders depart from that nice streamlined position if the diver swims in anything other than a belly down orientation. So I decided there needed to be a better mousetrap. My scuba cylinder lower side mount system consists of two brackets. The first mounted onto any BCD having a web waistband. The second bracket is secured to any scuba cylinder, whether used as a primary side mount cylinder or as a cylinder augmenting a traditional back mount system. This is the version of a BCD bracket for BCDs that do not have a removable weight system. The long narrow shelf keeps the cylinder as close as possible to the diver's torso. There are two mounting positions to accommodate divers of differing heights, and a fence behind to ensure that hips, wetsuits or dry suits cannot interfere with the opening in the shelf. An alternate fitting for BCDs with removable weight pockets will be demonstrated later. This is the second half of the scuba cylinder lower side mounting system. The bracket mounts on a dive cylinder and is designed to conform to any cylinder diameter. It features ribs on the cylinder side so that when adequately tightened onto a cylinder, the bracket will not slip. There is a horizontal slot that will accommodate a 2 inch web cylinder band and an indentation in that slot to correctly position a stainless steel hose clamp, either of which may be used to secure the bracket onto a dive cylinder. This is the BCD that I use for local recreational diving and when traveling where rental cylinders are almost exclusively aluminum. There are a number of arrangements that can be used to secure the cylinder valve in position. I prefer the simple loop of shock cord. It is always at hand and does not require a snap bolt. As you can see, the BCD bracket is secured to the waistband utilizing off-the-shelf triglides. You can also see that I have small non-removable weight pockets both beside and tucked behind the bracket and another two on the back. The six pockets provide ample capacity for any of my wet or dry suit configurations. The two parts of my device come together by first tilting the cylinder and inserting one lobe of the cylinder bracket into the shelf of the BCD bracket. The two brackets lock together when the cylinder is tilted into its final position and kept in place by the upper point of attachment at the cylinder valve. Now the time has come to demonstrate the system in action.
By stretching the upper shock cord, it is possible to disengage the lower point of attachment in preparation for entering confined spaces, then reattaching the cylinder afterward. Provided the center of gravity is below the cylinder band, it is possible to let go of the cylinder even when the upper point of attachment is unsecured. This alternative BCD bracket has been designed for use with removable weight systems that occupy a large portion of the waistband. In this case, the bracket is mounted behind the weight system and has a deeper shelf to accommodate the thickness of weights in the removable weight pockets. This is the BCD that I use for technical dives when I use my steel 120s. Because my technical diving is done in cold water, I need additional weight to compensate for a dry suit with thick fleece undergarments. The alternate BCD bracket is used because there is insufficient room on the waistband for a weight system and the normal BCD bracket. I've mounted the bracket so that it is staggered relative to the weight system to better position the cylinders and still have the removable weight pockets accessible. As you can see, the bracket extends out from under the weight system. Otherwise, the procedures for mounting and dismounting are the same. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I believe this invention could well be the next major advancement in the evolution of side mount diving and look forward to the day when the product could be offered as a standard feature of side mount BCDs in place of snap bolts. If your company is interested in taking the next steps with me, I'd be pleased to provide a set of prototypes to facilitate in-water testing. I'd also be delighted to receive an email with such a request at your earliest convenience.